What's goody YTBC? What's good fight fans, boxing ads around the world? Be Marsh with another boxing video. So this is my breakdown and prediction for um, the WBO heavyweight title fight that we have on um, coming up this, um, what is it, December 10th out there in um, Oakland, New Zealand. Okay, and we're going to have uh, Joseph Parker versus Andy Ruiz fighting for the vacant WBO heavyweight title that uh, uh, Tyson Fury vacated, you know? All right, so now this is a fight right here, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm actually looking forward to this fight, you know? Looking forward to this fight. Andy Ruiz finally going to get a step-up fight. It's about damn time, you know what I mean? You check it. This guy, Andy Ruiz, is a guy who is... Um, What's his record? He's like 29 and 0. <laughs> Excuse me. 29 and 0 with uh what you call it? With 18 knockouts, okay? Or is it 20 29 and 0 with 19 knockouts and Joseph Parker is 21 and 0 with 18 knockouts, all right? Now uh, this is a fight right here between two guys. Um I think the man um Andrew Ruiz is a pretty short guy for his for his uh for the heavyweight division you know i mean compared to guys from back in the day he's a big heavyweight you know he's a super heavyweight but in this day and age when they have guys like tyson fury who's six nine deontay wilder who's pushing six eight anthony joshua who's pushing six seven six 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 seven you know six two is almost like a little midget you know but um, this fight right here is interesting because these two guys bring their undefeated record uh, to the to Oakland, California. I said Oakland, California, Oakland, New Zealand. They bring um, youth, and um, you know, one of these guys will be the new champion. All right. So this is my breakdown and prediction, and I think that the man Andy Ruiz, he has a shot at beating Joseph Parker. You know. I'm sure everybody would know that uh, Joseph Parker is the one who's being fast-tracked to be a world champion quicker than Andy Ruiz, you know? Andy Ruiz has fought a lot of guys, a lot of obscure opponents, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think I only recognize, like, one name on his opponent, or maybe two. Um, is it uh, Ross Pure? Somebody, who did he fight? He fought somebody. I can't quite remember the name right now. I ain't looking at the box rack. And um, I do know he fought that one dude, that one Brazilian dude, Anthony Joshua, knocked out. Um, somebody, Zambrono Lava, somebody. You know, that big Brazilian who looked like who looked like Anderson Varja from the NBA, the guy on the Golden State Warriors, a Brazilian guy with the sideshow Bob Afro, you know what I mean? Now you check it. Oh, my God, you see that knockout? This is one thing this guy, Andy Ruiz, does possess, man. He does possess some KO power, you know what I mean? But then again, we have to ask ourselves, can he knock out an elite opponent? You know, I don't quite know who this guy he's fighting right here is. He check it, but um, will he be able to do this against the elite opponents? That's the question, you know what I mean? And um, I, I don't think he can, you know what I'm saying? I don't think he can because I've seen him go uh, the distance with uh, guys he should have been gotten up out of there, you know what I mean? I've seen his last fight on uh, one of them Spanish channels, whether it's Univa Unimas or, or Telemundo, one of that, man. You know, the man looked pretty, uh, he looked mediocre in my opinion, you know? You check it. But Joseph Parker, on the other hand, you know, he's a guy, I think, who's fought the better competition, you know what I'm saying? He's a guy who's, uh, who's he coming off of beating? Is it uh, De Demetrenko, right? He beat up Demetrenko, you know what I'm saying? Um, in a fight where Demetrenko looked like he came down, he came to lay down, you know what I'm saying? He ain't won nothing with Joseph Parker, you know? And Joseph Parker, pulled, he, he pulled off uh, slightly, though. He beat up Carlos Takam, you know what I mean? I had him. I had him edging that uh, that W slightly. You know what I mean? With uh, uh, I had a seven five. You know, and um, you know, I think the man Joseph Parker, he himself, he has them T Rex arms, short arms, but I think he does pack a powerful punch. And um, I'm not gonna say it's one uh, a one hit a quitter knockout power. Look at these old geezers he's be, he was fighting out there. Oh, that's that guy. Ain't that Francis Borta? The South African, the guy who fought Mike Tyson, tried to break his arm. The guy who took steroids, 
when he fought who? Who did he fight? He fought somebody and took steroids and they snatched the belt from him. I think it was A Axel Schultz, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I think it was Axel Schultz. So, uh, this guy, Francis Bolta, man, he's way past his prime. This is a guy who was fighting in the late 90s, early 2000s, you know what I mean? Taking flush punches like he did from Mike Tyson. A fight he was beating Mike Tyson up, too. And all it took was one hit a quit a eraser that Mike Tyson p possessed, and he knocked him out. But anyways, to the prediction, man, my keys to victory for um, Anthony Josh. I said Anthony Josh, Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker has to be the relentless fighter. He has to be um, quick on the draw, you know. The man Andy Ruiz does have some quick hands for a big guy from Mexicali, you know. A big guy who looks like he eats tacos every day even during training camp, you know what I mean? You check it out. I think that weight is going to be the thing to hold the man um, Andy Ruiz back. You check it. Andy Ruiz is a guy who, yeah, his hand speed is quick, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, he looks pretty fast against these obscure opponents who nobody knows, you know what I mean? You check it. But um, I think he has, uh, I think he does have quicker hand speed than um, than um, Joseph Parker. But like I said, Joseph Parker going to have to be the first on quicker with the draw, you know what I'm saying? He's going to be the one to... Um, be um catching with timely counter shots you know what i'm saying and also be the aggressive fighter you know what i'm saying but also timing and countering him you know countering andrew ruiz you know what i'm saying and i think it, it's detrimental and it's imperative and it's compulsory that the man uh, uh joseph parker has to go to big boy's body man you check it he gotta go to big boy's body till he feel like throwing up you know what i'm saying you check it. Remember that fight the man Juan Manuel Marquez had years ago, man, back in the day on HBO, man. He beat a guy to the body so hard, dude went into the corner and threw up, man. He threw up in the spit bucket. Blah, blah. He straight up and down Earl, you know what I mean? And that's what the man Joseph Parker has to do, man. He has to go to big boy's body. He has to go early and often to his body to stop any kind of movement that Andy Ruiz might have, it, I might have, you know what I'm saying? I keep him stationary where Andy Ruiz is now, you know, a guy who looked like his feet stuck in mud, got cement shoes, and he really can't move, and that's going to be Joseph Parker's um, um, cue to tee in on him all night, you know what I'm saying? Because the guy's going to be right in front of him, you know what I'm saying? Just like every other opponent Joseph Parker's faced, you know what I mean? And if Joseph Parker can do that, have this guy basically in retreat mode because he's you know he's taking crucial shots to the body he slowed down his momentum and his legs joseph parker will win this fight you know what i mean for andy ruiz his his keys to victory in my opinion uh joseph parker i'm sorry andy ruiz has to um has to be quick with the hand speed you know he's gonna have to use his high guard you know what i'm saying you know bob and weave you check it. Also use his jab and just basically uh, be the first one to counter. You know what I'm saying? Be the first one with the quicker shots. You know what I mean? You check it. I don't think he's going to be an elusive guy. He's not going to be hard to hit. Andy Ruiz. And neither will Joseph Parker. You know what I'm saying? But who, ha who possesses the bigger punch? I think Joseph Parker possesses a bigger punch. Although it's not no one hit or quit or eraser type power. It's something of uh, more of accumulative punches that will could slow the man Andy Ruiz down. You know what I mean? And Andy Ruiz can if he can, he can win this fight if he catches Joseph Parker clean. You check it. If he catches him clean, he can potentially hurt the guy, and that's when he can go in for the kill. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I think the man who has a tighter defense. Both guys, in my opinion, ain't known for their defense. You know, I think their offense is their defense. And when it comes to offense, I think Joseph Parker definitely has um, more more skills, you know what I mean? He got more tools in his um, toolbox than Andy Ruiz, you know what I mean? Andy Ruiz is trying to become the first Mexican ever, ever, ever to become a world heavyweight champion, you know? Chris Ariola was trying that a few years ago, you know what I'm saying? But that ship has sailed, you know what I mean? He got three title shots. From, uh, one from Vitaly Klitschko, one from Deontay Wilder, and he couldn't get it done against Bermain Stavern. So I think that ship has sailed, you know what I mean? So uh, Top Rank is looking for Andy Ruiz to be that next guy. 
And it'd be beautiful if he does it, if he makes it happen, you know what I mean? Because I've definitely heard of Andy Ruiz longer than I did, and I see more of his fights than I have uh, Joseph Parker. But Joseph Parker, the last few fights I've seen, at least they're against credible opponents, you know, unlike uh, Andy Ruiz, who's been fighting, like I said, obscure, no-name opponents, you know what I mean? So we shall see, man. My prediction, I got... Uh, Joseph Parker winning this fight, you know what I'm saying? I got him winning the fight probably around eight rounds to four, you know what I'm saying? I think he's going to win a unanimous decision. You know, I don't, maybe, you know, if he does happen to stop Andy Ruiz or KO him, that'll be real impressive. But I think ultimately the man is fighting in his backyard in New Zealand in front of his all his home crowd. And I think he'll become a first. Um, I don't think we've ever had a world champion out of New Zealand. I think he'll be the first champion out of New Zealand, world champ in boxing history. So I think he's going to make history on December 10th. And I hope uh, HBO does televise this fight, you know what I mean? Because you know, this is a top-ranked guy, Andy Ruiz, and a top-ranking HBO. They do business together. So it's only right, you know what I mean? So, you know, if... Joseph, if uh, Andy Ruiz so happens to win, he'll become the first Mexican to ever be a world title, uh, world champion, you know, this guy from Mexicali. So, you know, I'm sure the, the Hispanic and Mexican fans would love to see that fight live on TV. Or, you know, it probably won't be live because of the time difference, you know what I mean? It's probably going to be on a tape delay. So even more reason to do it, man. It don't cost nothing to put it on tape delay. All right, B-Marsh Boxer, let me know in the comment section who you think going to win this fight. I got uh, Joseph Parker winning 8-4, unanimous decision. All right, B-Marsh Boxing, thanks for listening. Peace.